Okay, we can make a start. Um, first of all, apologies for last week. I was actually off sick, um, so the random call cancellation at the last minute, um, I can only apologise for. Um, we were looking to obviously move over to this new um, time slot and new invitation that's controlled by Andrew and um, on behalf of the Cuba community. So um, I had to delete everything anyway. Um, I just did it in a, in a rush last week um, while off sick um, without any context. So apologies for that. Um, this is the first time we've actually met for a good couple of weeks now. Um, and I think in the previous meeting, we only had a handful of people. Um, so in the notes, um, as we're not using Google Meet anymore, the, the notes um, aren't as nice and auto-generated and everything. But in the notes from last time, you'll see that um, things we talked through briefly were um, introducing um, a SIG governance SIG um, or steering committee. And between the, the folks on the call at the time, we thought um, SIG governance would be the correct approach going forward. We talked about the PR that's up at the moment and the different things that that PR is doing um, and talked about SIG API that has since um, spawned a separate call that will be starting next week um, to discuss the need for SIG API and uh, potentially uh, looking at um, format, formulating some kind of um, PR to introduce um, SIG API formally um, in the next couple of uh, next couple of weeks. But that was last time. This time, the agenda um, is kind of along the sim same lines. Um, I just wanted to briefly touch on the PR. Um, and I'm not actually host sharing my screen, am I? Sorry. Let me do that quickly. Uh, da, da, da. Share screen. Uh, it's not working. Um, can anyone see my screen? No, I can share mine if that's easier. It yeah. could be, yeah, because Zoom has completely changed since I used it last. <laughs> and it doesn't want to just let me share a, share the document. All I, all I want to share is the, the doc at the moment. Yeah, uh, just one second. Elevator music, anybody? Screen is shared. I have way too many windows open, so it uh, took a while to find it. But it's a little small. Thank you. Lee, uh, you're muted. Sorry, <laughs> this is going well. Um, I'm just not used to using Zoom, sorry. Um, so yeah, if we can click, click through to that initial PR, um, I'll just briefly talk through um, where I kind of am with it. Um, it's still in dire need of review. There's a lot going on in in the PR. Um, I did discuss previously about potentially breaking it up, um, but I don't think that's going to be possible with at the moment with everything that's in there. So. In the initial um, comment here, you can see what's actually present in the in the PR. Um, if you just go back, Andrew, sorry, to the, the conversation tab. It's that initial comment at the top. Um, so there's um, an overview, governance overview that's introduced. Um, documentation from Kubernetes is then used to seed um, all of the SIG documentation that we're going to be using going forward. Um, and then on top of that are individual commits going through each of the documents and modifying them so they're applicable to Kubert. Um, so ripping out all of the 
Kubernetes specific language, renaming things, um, removing things like the annual reports and stuff that we don't have in Kubert, um, and just making it a bit more useful for us. Uh, while sticking broadly to the framework that Kube, uh, the Kubernetes has or uses. Um, I've also decided to, to copy over some of the tooling that they use uh, for managing SIGs. Um, so it's mostly just generating documentation and um, owner's files and things like that for us, but it, it seems useful. Um, so I've, I've copied that over as well and again, made it applicable to Kubert. Um, and then generated um, some examples based on the existing SIGS.yaml file that we have in the community repo at the moment. Um, like I said, there's, there's a lot in there. I I, can't, I could potentially break the tooling out from the documentation um, to make it easier to review if people think that would be useful. But ultimately, um, I'm going to have to ask folks for a little bit of their time to kind of start going through this um to help refine it another approach is that we just kind of merge things um in the next couple of weeks in whatever state they're in and then build on top of that afterwards um if we can't get review bandwidth but um yeah the initial framework of how what we want SIGs to look like um really does need to be in place before we kind of go through and start um populating um, existing SIGs properly. That's the the final agenda item that I wanted to talk about today. Um, and then potentially adding new SIGs, so SIG API and governance. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a chicken and egg problem this, but um, does anyone have any comments about the PR or questions or anything, or um, do folks think I should be breaking this out into, you know, completely different PRs or any input would be appreciated. Is is the biggest constraint finding peer reviewers right now, or or uh, is it also the confidence that you have that all these changes won't uh, break, <laughs> or are those equal concerns? I, breakage isn't really a thing because it's it's just documentation and process. A lot mm -hmm. of this, like the the tooling, is very self contained and it's not. Yeah, it's it, there's no risk of us breaking anything fundamental in the project by landing it. Um, and yeah, it, it's just review bandwidth to kind of just get some kind of consensus about the general direction that we're heading in. Um, there's just a lot of context, obviously, in all of these documents that you have to go through to kind of mm -hmm. gain an opinion on that outside of these calls where we're, the, call, the calls are useful, but we're just kind of skimming on the surface of all of this really on the call. Right. Whereas the documents are deep dives into um, a lot of this. So um, I, I, I appreciate why people would be put off from reviewing it, put it that way. Um, but ultimately to move this process forward, I think we need to think about landing some of this stuff sooner rather than later um, and then refining things as we get more people in the community involved. Because um, yeah, like I keep saying, that that final agenda point for today is reaching out to existing groups, teams within the community, and asking them to kind of populate the metadata uh, for that group or team oh, and SIG essentially. Um, once this is landed, um, and I'm sure that's going to get a load of feedback from folks, but um, I'd like to have this in place before we do that. Makes sense. Yeah, Fabian, go ahead. Uh, Lubo was first. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go for it, Fabian. No, no. Um, thank you very much, Lee, for um, for adding uh, opening these PRs. Um, I I will. Re I need to review them. Um, uh, what I just think is that we did you con so there's yeah so if I understand it right it's about six and there would be a zig governance and then with a steering committee as well right so that was the discussion in the previous call if if we should have one or the other not both um and 
the the steering committee is a kind of heavier weight process mm -hmm. um on top of this that obviously is is used in kubernetes but probably not something we should start with and we were just yeah the, the consensus from the previous call was to have a lighter weight sig governance group kind of just help to help shepherd um the initial process and if eventually we need something more heavyweight um you know the community the project as a whole can kind of look at taking the, ma the maintainers list that we currently have and maybe evolving that into a steering committee or something but that's a separate thing i think for now just to kind of guide this process sig governance will be more than enough and just a couple of and that would just be essentially the people that attend these calls or are interested in this kind of defining process part of the the whole thing um and just helping to kind of share things going forward so do you see a strong need for a govern for a steering committee or not uh just to get that point uh, personally um not at the moment i think yeah. just a okay. just a, a lightweight group into yeah. governance to kind of define the process is enough and yeah, we can so cross that bridge later when we get to that yeah so zig governance to help with you know establishing all the semantics and tools and um, documents around zix i think that is great i would also not look at the steering committee right now and Lou, i'm done in a second and then the only i i like that charter and i just wonder if we want to um yamalize this um a little to make it easier to parse uh, than in the um this markdown format because we've seen the like with i think that it's easier for automation right because we can all you know all this um repo creation or we give danny liller and friends a chance to um to automate this right if we would have it in yaml yeah so there is a single six.yaml file that is still ah, present um and that drives the automation around creating most of the markdown files um so yeah six.yaml remains um and then yeah the directories and the um i think the charters have to be created manually at the moment with the, with the tooling that we've inherited from kubernetes um but um yeah there's a lot of automation there and we can build a lot more on top of that six like yaml file as well potentially in the future yeah sorry i was missing that i think no problem it's just the casual 18 commits and however many thousand lines of change in the pr <laughs> go ahead if you've got a question still yeah um i would just build on top of what fabian mentioned uh, i'm more wondering about who is the who are the people we are need to onboard on the, uh, for this and uh, can we directly ping them so the the process will kind of be more smooth yeah so that that's the reaching out part um I kind of yeah once once there is consensus on this approach or some of this gets merged in, into the community repo um i was going to be reaching out to folks um through the mailing list or just through contacts that we know already so you know six scales already pretty pretty well formed and populated within um six like yaml um so that probably they probably wouldn't be a group that i'd reach out to initially but um yeah it'd be reaching out to folks say six storage network compute um individuals there and just asking if they can kind of um either provide the metadata or figure out a way of um you know getting consensus around what it should be um and um yeah that's that could be something that we could track in this meeting meeting to meeting every couple of weeks and track the progress of um but yeah th there'll, there'll be individual commits hopefully so the second line item adding to governance um i did just as an example of what i kind of expect a pr introducing a sig to look like initially um there's process in the documentation about like sending out a mailing list and everything uh sending out a mail to the mailing list um but from a pr point of view um the charter is yeah the, the readme isn't very complete because i can add too much metadata i just added myself as an example um and the charter is very limited as well but 
these are the documents, these are the things that we'd expect to be changed um, and the, the doc documentation we'd expect to be generated. So, um, yeah, with the initial commit, with the initial series in, and then this is an example for of how to add things, um, it's just going to be a, a reach out and request um, kind of procedure to get more people um, to populate the other six, the remaining six. Yeah, thank you. Just one question. So, so um, currently we open all of this against the community repo, but how you would it? So, um, we currently put all of this in the community repo, but um, do we want to keep it there or would it be? I wonder if this should be eventually be in the ZIG governance repository, right? If we assume that every ZIG has their own, just like, like child. Or if we, I wonder how we can move forward. And actually that doesn't matter where it's placed. Um, um, yeah, it can live wherever really. Um, the, the process and um, the tooling can, can adapt to another repo. That's absolutely fine. Um, the community repo obviously exists already and SIGs like YAML was already there. It's used in Kubernetes as well. So all the SIG information is in the community repo in Kubernetes as well. So it seemed like a logical place to start. But yeah, maybe maybe a separate repo for this um, eventually. Um, but yeah, once we've once we've actually got something landed, I think that would it'd be easier to move. Um, oh yeah, that would. Would not propose to move it and start from dropping. Um, I think what it, I wonder what is needed to move this forward, right? Because um, yeah, I wonder if it's enough, right, to get that stuff merged. I mean, to give it a, a thorough review, get that stuff merged, and then brief the one, people that were identified to be like the initial leads of these of the ZIGs, right? Because we need them on board to be aware of what the expectations are on them, right? What their responsibilities are. You know, to get that rolling and I wonder how we can do that step like because it's like yeah course for the leads yeah I'm I'm happy to have this call act as um the onboarding for people a particular week if we advertise it on the mailing list um as such so like all interested parties here's the initial uh, procedures that we've defined and the initial tooling. Um, we're looking for folks to um, help us initially populate this list of SIGs. If you're interested, just come and join this meeting. Um, and I'll present, you know, an overview of the process that that is hopefully merged at that point, um, and hopefully get some people interested and in generating some individual PRs for each of the the SIGs that we want to populate. Um, and then one, yeah, the, having that initial metadata populated in a community repo is obviously kind of useful potentially, but then that's going to spawn a whole load of other activity, um, like generating meetings potentially upstream, um, making owners file changes in all the different projects potentially. Um, that's, that's one thing that we've obviously spoken about in the past. It, that we wanted as an outcome of all of this was um potentially making um or um sharing the responsibility for you know a larger code base between smaller teams um to help kind of code throughput and everything so um that all of that activity could then follow on from that within the individual six once we've got that initial metadata and you know idea set i guess with, with folks does that make sense yeah to me yes but yeah it's just coordinating that next step and just getting folks on board with the idea that you know six will be um not, i shouldn't say the only way but the main way for you know people interested parties to um 
organize and um, drive their work forward upstream in, in the Cuba uh, community. I think just getting that kind of as the next step would be good. That all uh, makes a lot of sense to me. And I like the idea of using this uh, slot, even if it's like an ad hoc. I, we probably don't need to do it monthly, but um, yeah, having like a, a two week, we're going to run this meeting um, for these people. Anyone else who's interested can join in. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. The, even once all this pro the, the the procedural stuff has landed, I'm sure there'll be like refinements to it that will need to happen and um SIG governance will probably need its own separate meeting to talk through changes like that. But um yeah, if we just use this meeting to facilitate, you know, populating the SIGs going forward and I just kind of each meeting kind of reiterate the reasoning, the justification, what we're looking for from people, that kind of thing that, you know, that will hopefully um, move the process on um, and, you know, get things populated, um, potentially even get a few more people interested in helping with SIG governance and that underlying kind of framework. Um, of how SIGs are going to be run and stuff. Um, but yeah, that, I'm happy happy to do that. That's no problem at all in the next meeting. And um, I can definitely handle the the communication in between and kind of drum up some, some well, hopefully drum up some interest from folks to kind of attend and um, sign up to do that work for the individual SIGs. That would be good. Sounds great. And so really the um, the best way to move forward now is to uh, people who are on this call or watching this recording is to basically review your mega PDR. Um, and the PR of doing, yes. The PR of doing. It's actually like I, I, we had to skim through um, like so much of it's just like boilerplate, um, which probably doesn't need a hefty review. But uh, yeah, it did. It'll probably take like 30 minutes for folks to go through. I, I think I've reviewed it, but I'm happy to review it again in case um, I'm telling porkies. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I think you, you have done um, bits and pieces. I, I'll um, I'll hit the um, the approvers for the community repo as well um, and see if we can move, get a few few more folks of, of that list involved. Um, and yeah, I'd, yeah I, I don't think there's anything too drastically wrong in there and if there, if there is anything i think follow-ups will be more than more than acceptable for the things that need to change um so yeah get that landed and then the next slot for this call i'll just use as a a recruitment drive <laughs> meeting or something um the sig process needs you uh kind of thing um and just try and sign some people up to start using the SIGs, I guess. Cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I had, to be honest, for this call this week. Um, does anyone have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything from what we've just been talking through? No, no, it looks good. Good luck to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I still think this is going to be useful going like overall going forward. Like we're just going to get over this procedural hump at the beginning and definitely get people using it, um, and then maybe create SIG instance type. Is Fabian here? He dropped. <laughs> he dropped. Well, yeah, I'll say that. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely need to create SIG instance type at some point just to wind Fabian up. But um, yeah, I, we're just going to get over this initial hump, and it's it's always the the hardest part of things like this is just getting agreement on the on the kind of the the technical kind of procedural nonsense. So um, yeah, hopefully okay. we hopefully we've got that now, and we can move forward and refine from here. That's all good. Definitely.
you've done a great job of um, capturing what's been discussed in these meetings and then um, and dumping that into a PR of doom. Uh, I do have one question, um, and maybe this is something you can just ping a lay about, but what's the, um, you've asked if he needs to create another one introducing SIG API. Yeah, so I, I think we've, we've spoken about it um, on the call in the past, and I think the, the whole SIG API meeting and thing going forward now um, was to see if people see if people agreed with the idea um, and to kind of um, discuss the role of that SIG within the community. Um, and previously, I, I'd said, well, SIG API would be a prime candidate for, you know, introducing a fresh API, uh, fresh SIG to, to the list, right? So, um, yeah, the request there is just like I've done with SIG governance, just seeing if he would be happy being like the first guinea pig <laughs> going through the process other than me um, and creating, uh, creating that initial PR and everything. Um, because okay. ultimately, I think, yeah, SIG API probably is going to be created. Um, their discussions about what they're going to do internally and what their process, processes are and what their kind of workflows are going to be um, is kind of separate um, to them being a SIG. So I think straight away he could potentially create the, create the PR and they could be the first one that we create. Cool. Yep, makes sense. Cool. Well, first fresh SIG. Uh, Outside of the the existing six that we have at the moment, yeah. Um, yeah, I can I can reach out on uh, Slack upstream about that and just make sure he's okay with it because I know six scales going on at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll just make sure that he's happy with that. Cool. Okay. If there are no other comments or questions or concerns or anything, thank you all for joining. Um, Wish me luck in landing the PR of Doom. And yeah, like I said, the next slot of this call, I'll well, hopefully there'll be more participants. Um, and we can use it to um get some folks onboarded for the existing SIGs. Um before we yeah, add some add some additional ones after that. Cool. Thank you all. Catch you soon. Thanks, Lake. Thank you.